Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harry Langdon, celebrity photographer who has been photographing these people for over 50 years. And today I've chosen a subject from my book, Halle Berry, wow. And what a, what a great person to talk about. She's a really a beautiful woman and actress as well. And the sessions that I've done with Halle have ranged all the way from sessions where she's just casual, the real Halle Berry, all the way up to more glamorous Halle Berry. <laughs> and you can see how she's been able to transform herself in front of the camera. That's a technique that accomplished actors can do, almost like a chameleon. They can become somebody else that they've chosen, perhaps from the script from other things and you people as well can also transform your lives into being a, a celebrity in your own world because we're all celebrities in whatever we do so Hallie also um, appeared and uh, we photographed her for Ebony magazine this is one shot and there's uh, another shot that Ebony chose from our sessions so you can see what a nice array of shots we have on Hallie. And so she's been able to rise above the complexity of her personal life and be able to uh, per portray this beautiful, glamorous woman. One of the roles she portrayed was of uh, Dorothy Dandridge. Dorothy Dandridge was a, an, also another celebrity personality who had a lot of challenges in her life. And uh, a film company decided to do the Dorothy Dandridge story, and they chose Hallie to be the, play the role of Dorothy. And so when I did the session with uh, Hallie, I remember the movie that uh, Dorothy Dandridge did, it was called A Porgy and Bess. That's one of the films she did. So when I was shooting Hallie, the day she was being Halle Berry, you know, the glamorous Hollywood movie star and all that, but I noticed something was missing. And I noticed, when, I, as I remember back myself, Dorothy Dandridge, she had kind of like a an, an attitude, a little bit of an anger attitude, because she's been mis was mistreated a lot. So I got close to Hallie and I said, Hallie, we're missing something here. And that's that, that beautiful anger and frustration which e emotes and comes out with this beautiful countenance. And so Hallie uh, immediately at that point reverted back to Dorothy Dandridge and she, I saw tears <laughs> coming to Hallie's eyes. I went, uh-oh, because <laughs> a good actor can literally become another person and, and take on the, uh, the, that role. And so it was very successful uh, as far as getting that look, that Dorothy Dandridge look on Hallie. So what I'd like to do is explain a little bit more about photographing celebrities and somebody like Halle, a photographer like myself and the, the accomplished celebrity photographers, I'm not the only one, have had to develop a sense of compassion and empathy for our fellow human beings, especially the actors, you know, they're paying for a photo session. And so it, it comes from just a certain amount of living that we've had to do and realize that we're all in this whole thing together. And so when I do a session with anybody, no matter who they are, they may be um, a chef like Wolfgang Puck, they may be gl a glamour girl like uh, Raquel Welch, the Tina Turner, who's an accomplished performer, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I have to sort of get into them, mentally get into how they feel and uh, on, if, on this photo session and in their lives. And it's a reciprocal energy that we develop during the photo session, which may last four hours. In Hallie's case, maybe eight hours well spent with this beautiful human being. And so we begin to communicate on a 
a level that is kind of without speaking, we can sense each other's feelings. And so it's, it's sort of a gift that I've got, you know, it's taken 50 years to, to kind of get it going. And so I'm gonna talk more about these kind of things in the future on more episodes. How should other photographers be able to do that? when they're working with people. Yeah, when a photographer is working either with your family or a friend that need, or a model that needs pictures, you, you have to sort of, in a way, humble yourself and confide in them so that the subject can feel like they trust you. You have no ulterior motives. You, you have to show them that you feel how they feel. And so it's very important when you're photographing people, it'll make your pictures go beyond just ordinary pictures and become pictures that other people can look at and go, wow, how did you get that expression? So more sub things on that subject, on that line, I'll discuss in future sessions, because not all of my sessions were as easy as uh, Halle Berry and getting uh, glamorous looks. Uh, a lot of them demanded different kinds of lighting with Joan Rivers and with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'll discuss different types of lighting that I use. And so it'll be really fascinating for you. And, and plus that, I'll get into what kind of camera I use and you know, the whole digital scene and Photoshop and all that. And so look at, stay tuned and look forward to the next episode. And you can also see my photos on uh, my website, harrylangdon.com. Also, you can find this book <laughs> that's got about 300, no, 250 other pictures in it. You can find it on amazon.com books. And so I look forward to our next, next session and have a great day, okay? Happy photography, okay, bye.